it's kind of windy, so you probably hear a lot of wind, but I can barely see through the glare on this. You can see, like Catalina, typically you can't see it from here. you got to be in Hermosa to see it, right at the border of Hermosa and Dono, because the angle. But you can actually see it right there past the tip of PV. I believe that's Catalina. I don't know what other island it could be, but where I'm from, it's, it's not, you wouldn't be able to see it right there. It'd be, far, it'd be, be, be a bit more south than what we're seeing there, so you don't see it at all. You'd have to be in Hermosa to see it. There's a few islands they have out on these earths that they don't have on my earth, which is pretty cool. They're pretty cool islands. You can see them from the shore, see them from PV. Pretty cool. It's a Rano coffee shop, bait and tackle. Place to go if you like, you know, in the morning you can get yourself a, a, a there's food and everything, so you, yourself a squid omelet, you know, a, a bonita omelet, something like that, Mac, mackerel, mackerel mash um, potatoes and stuff like that. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, you know, you can get all the best food here. I like the uh, the mackerel and bonita omelet. That's a good one. No, I've never eaten there. I don't know if they have something like that there. <laughs> I'm sure they don't, but. So we got a little rampage going up here, a little uphill, you know. <laughs> So we got uh, on top of uh, the seagull, it used to be called when Chin had this place. He's bummed when the, when the pier burnt down. Yeah, the bamboo hut was right here. One of the first places is you're going up on the pier on the left. Had picnic bench things out front, good amount of them. It's just a walk up window, get teriyaki sticks. He's calling me the teriyaki kid high school. My friend Bob Wolfson in the ninth grade worked there. And one time he gave me a, you know, they have no business in the winter and any time during the school year. So he counts every little thing sold or gone. He, he went by and kind of, as I was walking down the pier, Chin was walking up the pier and passed me, saw me eating a teriyaki stick, you know. So he came and asked my friend Bob, oh, I see you sold a teriyaki stick. <laughs> no, no. So it, that, he wasn't going to say he did because he didn't have the money for it. And so he, I guess it was stolen. <laughs> he didn't want to say he gave it to me. So here I got called the teriyaki kid. So I got older. Yeah, so I used to call you the teriyaki kid because I see you walking down the pier eating my teriyaki stick. <laughs> and he did not sell it while well, he was my friend, you know. <laughs> gave it to me <laughs> but because of that I was labeled teriyaki kid one time I did for the next thing I working back there they come I did try to reach in and grab him because some people have been known to do that and he caught me it's the last time I tried so I never officially did that you know that's not the big thing anyways for a kid down at the beach you got teriyaki sticks they're pretty good but I did learn how to kind of make them so I started making them at home with flank steak and teriyaki sauce and a farberware grill had a pan at the bottom and the grill on the top. Juices would drip down the bottom, pour them back on the top. So I kind of learned through Chin and his bamboo hut how to make uh, teriyaki sticks. Just like I learned from Alice Coney Island how to make pizza dogs and that sort of thing. This is it, it used to be the shark attack. Now it's all the cool memorabilia and stuff they have here. Hi. So oh, it's all your Redondo Beach, I was at Redondo Beach and all that. So people from out of state could come here and buy their postcards and all that. It's pretty cool. It is the Oriental Connection. You know. Chin was a big supporter of the Sapporo and Corinne. I think Corinne was the one he liked, I forget. 
even though he's Chinese, I don't think he knows are Chinese or like Korean or something, but he used to push those on me over at Charlie's, the old Charlie's over here, named after Charlie Chaplin. So here we have the waterfront pizza, it used to be Zeppi's as we know. It's like they're pushing a lot of beer here. <laughs> they got everything here, not just pizza. Meatball spaghetti, uh, chicken alfredo, shrimp alfredo, hamburger, chicken sandwich, chicken tenders, chicken nuggets, chicken wings, nachos, fries, mozzarella sticks, hot dog, banana split, mini trills, funnel cake. Oh, they even got the man manganata, one of my favorites, the manganata, the, the choco banana, the corn churros, chips, singular double cone ice cream, coffee, hot chocolate, strawberry sundae, caramel sundae, and chocolate sundae. And then they got the funnel cake. You gotta have the funnel cake, you know. But best of all, you get one of these pizzas. They're the best. Don't go anywhere else. No beer to go. They will not be responsible for any citations. <laughs> they sell everything here. Over a hundred different beers to choose from. And um, yeah, it's a place to be. Like old Tony's here. Restroom is for customers only. I better turn around. <laughs> I'm not gonna dig it when I go in there. So they have a uh, have a mai tai. Over one million served. They served over a million mai tais here already. These are some of the people that they've had here. Everyone from Ronald Reagan to Lucille Ball to uh, uh, Dick Van Dyke, Carol Burnett, um, Johnny Carson. Elvis, Elvis's wife, uh, Bush. Um, is that Bush? <laughs> yeah. They cater to all the celebrities here. And then, uh, they haven't catered to me yet, Jeff Spicoli, but okay, Edison meter room, pad mounted. Oh, they're using the good old pad mounted transformer. That's all right, you know. They haven't stepped up to the real one yet, but as long as it works, right? That's cool. The 21 voltage regulation, ah, still pretty powerful, so you don't want to play around in there. Right. You know, they go by different codes from strength. 21 is nothing to mess around with. Closed Wednesdays. They always close Wednesdays. It's just what they do, you know. Every other day they're open. They stay open to like midnight on Sunday. Wednesday, closed. Voodoo dolls, that's one of their biggest sellers here is the voodoo doll, you know. They're 10 bucks. Anyways, and the crab house. You can't beat the crab house or the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz, the Riz. Same thing. So Charlie's here, named after Charlie Chaplin. A lot of Chinese food on this pier. Mini Chinese food. 